Hello everyone, welcome to Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we are going to talk about lytic cycle of bacteriophage. Now what is lytic cycle and what is lysogenic cycle of bacteriophage lambda and why do you want to study this and particularly the most important thing is the lytic lysogenic switch. So this 3 series video series is going to get you uh, all the information regarding lytic cycle lysogenic cycle and lytic lysogenic switch of bacteriophage lambda this is the first lecture about lytic cycle of bacteriophage lambda and i'll be sharing you some animation regarding this whole process and in this process you'll understand exactly what do we mean by lytic and lysogenic cycle okay so we'll continue with that so the very first thing that i want to share is about the lytic cycle of bacteriophage lambda and remember one thing what is lytic cycle in lytic cycle of bacteriophage lambda it's a process of bacteriophage lambda's growth and a division from one lambda phage to two to from two to four and it grows exponentially for this growth the lambda needs a host and in this case the host is bacteria let's say e coli is the host and bacteriophage that is lambda will attack e coli and use e coli as a host and continue to grow inside of the e coli and once they start growing after division after division continues to grow and once the process is done it will burst the cell open that means it will burst the e coli cell open and all the lambda phage after arranging the phage particle after assembling the genetic material and uh, all the protein coat for the lambda they package it and then they will come out that's how the whole process is done okay so now here i'm going to share you the animated lecture animated version of the whole process in sequential details so it's a process in which a virus overtakes a cell hijacks the cellular machinery and makes its own component and generally the bacteriophage will make its genetic component that is in this case dna and it will also make the proteins for making the capsid then they will assemble the phage particle and they will kill the cell, host cell and it will open up and all the phage particle will come out. So it's basically cracking the cell open. So the very first uh, thing is the early infection series. In this early infection, the virus attaches to the bacterial surface. You can see that. Then virus will inject its DNA into the bacterium. Once the injection of DNA is done, then the viral DNA uses the cellular machinery to reproduce itself, replicate itself. So we have a lot of DNA at this moment in the bacterial cell. Now, the second step is known as the late infection step. In this step, already the DNA replication is done. So, after the DNA replication comes the late infection stage. In the late infection stage, the components of the viral protein coat are produced from the gene, from the DNA that is produced here. So, components of the protein coats are built. Uh, that includes all the phage tails, that includes phage head and all the single particles of the phage are produced and then they will be packaged inside the phage head and once they will package it so you can see this packaging process completely once the packaging is done uh, then what happens the virus overrun the host cell burst the cell and kills the cell and obviously the phage particles will come out from the cell by killing it okay that's the whole process of phage lytic cycle now this lytic cycle is again regulated by multiple factors, multiple important factors of the phage DNA. Although we know the phage DNA hijacks the machinery of the bacterial cell, but there are some important components to the genetics of the phage and that includes, uh, that particularly includes the N protein, that includes the CRO protein. The CRO protein, the N protein, they plays a very important role in terms of uh, lytic cycle and lytic lysogenic switch is being regulated by CRO protein, CRO protein as well as C1 protein. There are multiple proteins C1, C2, C3 as per the phage DNA but the C1 protein if produced in more amount it will cause the lysogenic cycle but C1 is produced less, more CRO is being produced, it causes lytic cycle. Okay, we'll talk about the details of lytic lysogenic switch in a separate video. Now in this whole process of phage packaging it's very important that they package the bacterial uh, DNA itself. But in some cases, if they package some other component of the DNA that is being transferred, in that case, it signals uh, and in that way, it causes uh, what we can say as transduction and it is known as a generalized transduction. Okay, so that's all about the lytic cycle of Lambda Farge. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.